hello viewers assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel once again in this video i am going to discuss with you how we can identify fake scopas discontinued scopas and under evaluation scopas journals the first category is fake scopas fake scopas journal is those journals the website they are claiming that they are scopas index journal uh, for example, they are claiming that they are Q2 journal, Q3 journal, Q4 journal, whatever Q it is. But when you come to the Scofas website and you search their journal name, you can't find anything else. And even if, if you search by their ISSN number, you also cannot find anything else in the Scofas website. But in the journal website, they are claiming that there is Scofas index journal. So those journals are considered as fake Scofas journal. The second category is discontinued journal. Discontinued journal are those journal, it has been indexed by a Scopus before, but currently it was discontinued by a Scopus. It can be for many reasons, for example, for over publication, also for not maintaining the quality of the paper, they have been dismissed by the Scopus. And the third category is either neither they are fake scopa journal or they are discontinued scopa journal but they are under evaluation so that means if you if you go to scopa's website for this category you can you will find the journal it is properly indexed in the scopa's if you go to any if you want to check anywhere you will find it's properly indexed in the scopa's but inside they have problem with the scopa's maybe scopa's already alarm them for over publication or scopas already put them under observation for their for not maintaining the quality or for any financial discrepancy so we have to be careful about this category of the journal also for example if you want to publish for your uh, maintaining your kpi fulfilling the kpi or you want to submit the thesis after publishing in the scopa journal so after your publication if you publish under evaluation journal after publication the scopa your paper will not be in the scopa uh, database because the journal you publish it is under evaluation so we have to be careful from all three categories so today i am going to discuss one by one uh, i will i will discuss about the three steps how we can avoid this category journals when we publish for any purpose for example thesis submission or our kpi we have to be very careful about these three categories so first step is we can go to shimago website after going to this website we can search by journal title also we can search by issn number also publisher name so later i am going to show you practically one by one how we can search and how should we focus and how we can identify either this is properly indexed in a scopus or not okay the next step is going to the scopus website itself after going to the Scopus website, then you can go click on the sources. When you click on the sources, they will ask you to either show the title of the journal or ISSN number or publication name. The first, third step, the third step is after checking the Scopus website and Simago, you realize that the journal is properly indexed in the Scopus. The next step is to email to the Scopus. So please follow this link and you can email to the Scopus that is this journal properly indexed in Scopus or not. Scopus will reply your email normally three to four working days. So it can be one week, no problem. If they take little bit more time, it's still okay. At least uh, if you publish in the wrong journal, your paper will be wasted, your idea will be wasted. If you pay any publication fee, it will be wasted also. So better to clarify before you publish. So let me show you one by one. Okay, uh, the first one will go to this website, Shimago website. Let me show you from the beginning. Okay, uh, today I am going to check one journal that is uh, that is a good journal. There is no problem with this journal for a Scopus indexing or anything. But for the learning purpose, we will search in the journal. Okay, journal name is Asia Pacific Journal of Tourism Research. If you are from tourism area, uh, you know that this journal is quite reputed one. So 
so we can you can search by uh, ISSN number here or publication name so after searching if the journal really index in the scopus the journal name should appear here after that you can click on the journal name so please check carefully the spelling everything that the journal you searching that journal really came out from the searching result so after now we realize that this journal is h index is 37 and it is uh, under the publisher also check the publisher name that uh, the journal website you saw that the it is the same publisher or not then after that you come for the coverage in this coverage section you will see that the journal is properly coverage in the scopus and also if the journal has any problem with the coverage so it will come it will appear here discontinued even though shimago website uh, in 2020 or 2019 uh, this website they they are, uh, they did not put any discontinued sign but for currently if any journal is discontinued from scopus they put here discontinued as well so it's a good thing that we can identify easily okay so after finishing this clarification now we go to our second step that is scopus website scopus website is very very important because the journal originally index in scopus or not you can identify from there so scopus website the firstly we go to scopus.com it will appear the like this then you go you click on the sources When you click on the sources so they will ask you either you want to uh, put the title name or publisher name or issn number you can choose any uh, of the options as for your convenient so asia we search the same journal asia pacific journal of tourism research okay so automatically the name appeared so click on in a scopus website we can look into uh, there are a few other indi indicators also how we can understand that this uh, this is a regular scopus journal and scopus is taking uh, the papers from this journal in regular basis many things we can identify from here for example first of all yes it is the same journal asia pacific journal of tourism research the journal we are looking for the coverage is from two, two, 2003 to present so that means there is no issue if there is any issue like for example the journal already discontinued so it will appear in this place there will be one bracket and they will show discontinued okay and issn number so you should check the issn number uh, provided in the website as well to clarify that it is correct then after that you can you can go go down go down and see that is scopus coverage content okay in here we can see that scopus is uh, regularly including the papers from this journal for example in 22 into 1 already 67 documents 67 papers already included in the database from this particular journal in 2020 already 96 items okay so that means scopus regularly taking the papers from this journal so there is no issue okay if for example if 2020 is missing here so that means something wrong if 2021 only one paper so that means already uh, uh, eight months gone from this year but still only one paper is here so that means something wrong so in this journal we can see that everything is very regular and frequent so there is no such issue so still for our next clarification for example if you are searching uh, a journal that is not from a reputed publisher but still you feel that it could be a scopus index or you it could not be a scopus index so you want to clarify after checking everything then we go to other, our third step of our today's video that i'm going to show you third step is you go to the uh, go to the contact details of scopus okay this is from the scopus website as well so let me show you how you can go there from the scopus.com okay we go back to scopus.com again so then after that you go to uh, you go to contact contact us okay this is a scopus, a scopus support center a scopus support center so you can uh, make two types of access and use you can contact here also 
anyhow you send email they will reply your email even though they have many categories but if you make the email uh, they will reply okay all topics and you can choose one uh, from here the reason content subject uh, uh, you can write it in your own way but uh, for example let me show you that is this journal journal scopus index index or you can say uh, either way is this journal is this journal currently active in a scopus currently active in scopus so they will uh, they will show uh, they will email they will reply back your email or even even you can put here journal name you want to ask for and you can write down the question here is the journal scopus index then browse what you should put in the browse uh, if you put nothing here also your email will be processed but uh, usually for the preferences what i will do uh, i will take a screenshot i will take a screenshot of the journal i am looking for i am looking for the information i will browse that screenshot here so that that makes my job easier they will understand easily what is what i'm looking for okay and you can put your affiliation here whatever affiliation here uh, write down your name and for email address if you have any official email address for example dot uh, edu dot my or any official email address affiliated by your university or in your institution you better to put at that email address uh, that uh, then your response will be more is smooth i can uh, say, uh, say that okay after searching here so now you realize that uh, when you get the email reply from them they will they will give you details that either this you journal the journal you are looking for is it properly uh, indexed in scopus or not uh, for example if you follow all these three steps i am going to show you again if you follow all these three steps uh, today i show you step number one you go to schema go step number two you go to uh, scopus website step number three you go to uh, email you go and email from the in the scopus website so if you are very unlucky for example if you follow all these three steps but still you are unlucky that uh, uh, for example after publishing your paper within two three days the journal got uh, journal got under evaluation so that means you are very unlucky so for that process i showed you just now uh, before you publish in the journal you make sure you check the journals uh, either journal is properly uh, publishing in the publishing the issues and also scopus is taking their paper properly or not so this is very important matter whenever you search a journal make sure you check either journal is publishing regularly and scopus is taking their paper paper regular basis in the database so that means the journal is quite safe for example if you go for any good publisher mrl uh, taylor francis lc bar inder science igi or uh, springer so your journal their, that journal is very less like to be like discontinued from the scopus so if you go for any standalone publisher so there is a risk so if you publish any standalone publisher so you should check all the criteria i have shown you today also take some time when you email them please take some time to get the reply if you don't get the reply wait for some time make sure your paper will not be wasted and uh, your effort will not be wasted if you uh, invest any money in the proof reading or for the paper your uh, finance will not be wasted if you wait for some time but if you make a wrong decision when you will be harmed in many ways for example you submitted for uh, your uh, kpi you submitted for your thesis submission or any other purpose for good purpose we publish for good purpose so any other purpose uh, that will be like uh, in serious threat so better to clarify the journal before you publish so uh, i really thank you for watching this video and i request you please uh, watch this video uh, more and more times before you publish please check all the steps i hope that if you follow this step anything can happen but if you follow this step i can assure you that there will be less likely that you will make a, a mistake while looking for a scopa journal